Welcome everybody. My name is Jeff Tang. I'm the Associate Dean of the College of Integrated Science and Engineering. And I'm going to be your tour guide today showing you a few of our spaces. We're not going to have time to see everything, but we're going to get a few of the highlights. Our first stop today is going to be one of our biotechnology labs. And Dr. Stephanie Stockwell is going to show you around. Hi everybody, thanks for coming today. I'm excited to show you our space. This is a teaching lab that we use for teaching a biomanufacturing class. And that in that class, we clone a gene, express the gene to make a protein, purify it, and then look to see how well we've done. So we have all the things that we need here in order to do those kinds of things. If you look on the benches, we have micropipetters for measuring really small amounts of liquid. We have centrifuges to spin and separate samples. If we come around this way, we have a gel doc system that allows us to look at DNA in the context of a gel. We have ways of quantifying the DNA that we've prepared and figuring out how, how pure it is. Making lots of copies of DNA using PCR. And over here on the benches, we might do something like run our protein sample on a gel and look to see how pure it is and see if there's other proteins contaminating it. This space has been used for a lot of things besides just teaching. A couple of projects that I know that have gone on right here are a couple of students tested our different cafeteria foods looking for genetic, genetically modified organisms. Another group uh, expressed a protein and purified it to make a diagnostic, sort of like a lateral flow assay that you might know about with COVID. So that's about what I have to show today. Thanks for coming by and I hope to see you again. Our next stop is one of our two high base phases, and engineering senior Jonathan Amaya is going to show you around a little bit and tell you about his project. Hi everyone, so I am the project manager for the JMU Super Mileage team, and right now we're located in room 001, and I would like to show you a little bit about our space. So we have two competition-based co uh, capstone teams in this room. Um, right on, right over here, we have the JMU Super Mileage team, and what we consist of is building a fuel-efficient vehicle from scratch, and also building a mathematical model that will inform and validate our design decisions. At the same time, we're trying to formulate a driving strategy around the track. Last year, unfortunately, we weren't able to go to Sonoma, California, but we hope to to compete this year. And right over here, we have the collegiate wind competition, and they do a lot of researching, uh, designing, and, de and development of their small-scale wind turbine. And they were, we were also fortunate to get a, a donated wind tunnel that they'll be able to test their, their small-scale wind tunnel or wind, wind turbine. Uh, right over here, we have a Haas machine. We are super fortunate in having that, and we can prototype and also finalize our designs um, through there. Our next stop is a manufacturing lab and our host here is going to be Dr. Maria Papadakis. Hi everybody, welcome and I'm sorry that you can't be here but this is our industrial and manufacturing systems lab in ISAT. This is where we do all of our hands-on work in terms of learning how products are made and the different kinds of technologies that we use for manufacturing and materials shaping and formation. For example, some of our upper division students as juniors and seniors work on designing and making clocks um, using the machinery and equipment that we have here in the lab. Uh, we've got a number of uh, 3D printers that we mess about with. And then one of our major pieces of equipment that we use to learn about production and production management is our flexible manufacturing system, which um, replicates many of the material handling and sequencing of um, operations that are done to fabricate different kinds of products and parts. So thanks for visiting and hope we get to see you soon, real life, um, this fall. The next space we're gonna look at is the robotics lab and Dr. Nathan Sprague from Computer Science is gonna show you around. Hi. This is a shared robotics space across the college that we use for all things robotics related. I teach a course on autonomous robotics in this space. This is the robot that we use. It's called a turtle bot. So we learn how to navigate the robot, robot related algorithms for controlling it. Here's the previous generation of turtle bot here. So we still bring those out for projects every now and again. We also use this space for capstone projects, uh, the robotics club, 
and independent studies. So this robot, for example, we purchased in the spring to be used in an independent study project that was going to involve roaming the halls of the building, recognizing people and welcoming them to ISAB. So that program, uh, that project got canceled because of COVID, but we'll get back to it. So thank you so much for coming uh, and it's been a pleasure. The next space we're gonna look at is one of the most unique that we have. Uh, you, when you think of the College of Integrated Science and Engineering, you may think of all technology and tools, but we also explore the human side of, of technology and science and what its implications are. So here to talk a little bit about the Science, Technology, and Society Futures Lab is Integrated Science and Technology second year student, Alexa Houck. Hey everybody, so this is where the magic happens. We each have our own research projects and we create design and like we imagine potential futures and we create using all of the materials and supplies behind us. We have creative times where we all create different artifacts that show the potential futures that we have. My research is how biotechnology impacts people with disabilities. Thank you for coming. The next space we're gonna explore is the first and second year design studio. And here to tell us a little bit about what they do in this space is the lab manager for the Department of Engineering, John Wilde. Hello. So this room is actually two rooms, can be divided in half. The farther half is the uh, freshman design studio, and this is the sophomore design studio. In the sophomore design studio, for the last several years, we've done a project designing a human-powered vehicle for a local person with specific needs. The uh, sophomores divide up into teams, up to 10 teams, and, divide, and uh, build 10 prototypes and then the client chooses the one that best suits his or her needs. And over the summer, one student is selected to build a final version of that vehicle and the client gets to take it and use it. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of our spaces. On behalf of the College of Integrated Science and Engineering at James Madison University, we hope to see you soon.